Hey, what's up, YouTube? Thank you for another. Today is Wednesday, August first. And you know, y'all know, you know what the Wednesday means, right? I'm pretty sure y'all, I'm pretty sure y'all know know what Wednesday means on my channel. It means it's time for you another. Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains episode review. So, in this episode, we got the start of two duels, probably a third duel. We got the start and a two duels in this one episode. We got the start of a Soulburn and Blood Shepherd duel and a Playmaker Bounty Hunter Duel. Now, the Playmaker Bounty Hunter Duel, I want to talk about first because <laughs> it was so funny. But that was one of the funniest duels for me this whole this entire episode. So, it takes one turn for Playmaker to be for Playmaker to be this Bounty Hunter dude. One turn. I mean, it's one turn during, during a speed duel. One turn. But what is this? He summons Link Slayer. He summons a card called Storm Cipher. He Link summons Pentastag. I don't know what that, what that monster looks like. He's this guy. Again, he reminds me of an Earthbound Immortal almost. Just, just, just from those lines on his, on his body. So, those of you who don't know what this guy does, or, or, here's the effect. If your linked monster attacks the defense, and this monster linked to and this monster is currently to another monster and attacks a defense position monster or, or your lead monster attacks a defense position monster and increase the battle damage to your opponent. So he equipped he equipped this spell card called Cyrus Annihilation. Whatever, that's cool, that's cool. And um basically Cyrus Annihilation deals damage to the opponent's life points even the amount that the destroyed monster series attack points were. So, yeah, um, <laughs> that's pretty funny to me. I don't know, but that's funny. That is free. That is pretty funny to me. All there was one turn and he won. Now he duel he finds the other you know, the other guy that comes into play. I assume they're gonna duel in, in in the next episode. That's what I'm assuming anyways, that they're gonna duel in the very next episode. But now Silver and Blood Shepherd. I thought Blood Shepherd was a dick before, but boy was I wrong. He was a major dick now. But I mean, he's using Silver's greatest fear, which is a zombie monster called Despair from the Dark. A zombie monster card is Silver's greatest fear and his weakness. Which, okay, okay, that's that's pretty acceptable. I mean, I mean, this part of the dark is a really creepy card. And it's a real creepy monster. But what Blood Show does, he uses 
three of them. Not three exact cards, he's one card and then another card. And Combo turned three duplicate drones into the spare from the dark. The dueling action was okay. I love the dueling action. Oh, Shimoido. But I cannot stress this enough. That dude needs a serious reality check. And you know what? It's a good episode. I definitely enjoyed it. I definitely enjoyed the dueling action. I can't wait for more. Um. Let me think. Well, so. Oh, yeah. Um. Basically. The. Uh, basically, the episode ends with this. Silver's eyes are like so far back his head. That he's like scared. I mean, because again, his greatest fear is 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 a dual monsters card called the Spare from the Dark. That's his biggest fear there. Oh well, yeah, see, well, yeah, see, that's kind of dumb. Really, Soros? Really? Yes, really. I don't know if anyone bring me into the scene people. <laughs> so, is this is my Bakugan. Hi, 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 how you doing? In Saurus. You're a dork, you know that? Now, now the deck for the Bounty Hunter. I it was pretty much confirmed, but we didn't see Go Onizuki use his deck during his duel against Soulburner because in. Go using his duel against Silver, he uses a Dino or Slow Deck. Whereas before he used a Goki Deck. So now the Bounty Hunters, the other two cronies, are using Gokis while he's using Dino Wrestlers. And can I just say how fucked up that is? That he's not using the deck that he's meant to be using. But you know what? It's okay. It's totally fine. I it's totally fine by me. But yeah. Um, if you want more, and of course, if you want more in this review, make sure to check out Yu Gi Oh! Everything's video. He hasn't posted for a few weeks because, I mean, he missed uh, 59, 60, and I believe 61. No, he's supposed to be 61 or 62 today. So he missed 59 and 60. I believe he was almost 58. No, I don't think so. Oh well. If you want to make sure to check his channel. And I'll catch you all next time. So this day is doing that. Signing off. Peace out. Remember guys. Deki Seto. Into the brain.